Putting out a fire is always a challenge for firefighters, but winter weather can make it even more difficult. News 3's JC Brienne spoke with a local expert to learn more about those obstacles. In the winter, you have to deal with the, the elements, the cold so much. Um, you know, it's important to, when you get to a fire scene, that you are have manpower that you can rotate personnel in and out. Fire Chief Mike Dammerman with the Anna Fire Department says when the temperatures dip below freezing, extra personnel is vital. You're fighting fire with water, you get wet, um, you come out and it starts to freeze. You need to be, be pre have preventative measures in place, like I said, to get your, your members properly rehabbed, get them warmed back up. And the water doesn't only freeze on the gear, it also gets on surfaces, creating yet another safety hazard. It gets on all the surfaces, not only what we walk on, um, potentially our engines and other things around. And, you know, we don't see it. It's in the nighttime, it basically, you say, black ice. Um, you know, you don't see it. So you have the slipping, falling injuries that may not necessarily be life-threatening, but they're just nagging and they take a firefighter out of service. While Dammerman says no two fires are the same, there are some things you can do to help keep your home safe. In the winter, obviously, people using their furnaces, fireplaces, wood burners, um, though all those items need to have regularly maintain, have regular maintenance done on them. Chimneys, you know, you need to have a chimney sweep, come get the creosote out of your chimneys. Uh, same thing if you have like an indoor wood burner. Uh, furnaces just need to be ma have maintenance done. In Anna, JC Brienne, News 3. One community in New Mexico set an intentional dumpster fire as a way to end 2020. A fire department in Florida responded to one as well. The Brevard County Firefighter